Welcome to the replay. Hey everyone, welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are new to Chalk Couture, this is the first time you're ever hearing about it or watching this, please give me a number one below as I would love to again welcome you. If you guys are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left hand corner. For those of my fans that continually come to watch, thank you so, so much. Again, make sure you say hello to me. And you guys, the greatest compliment you can give me is a share. I would love it if you would share this video. And you guys, if you're catching me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe this way. Subscribe to my channel um, to see all the fun crafty, crafty videos coming for the fall season. Hey, Denise, welcome. How are you? So you guys, how is this Tuesday afternoon? As you can see, I am super casual today. Um, don't care hair, you know, kind of thing. I'm off today, so super excited. Been doing laundry all day. Had some phone calls today, which were really, really good, which is awesome. But you guys, all these beautiful projects you see around me, these were all created by a company that I work for, that I am an independent um Hey Deidre, welcome. Thanks for being a fan. I am a designer for, and this is called Chalk Couture. So I'm going to throw this up on my screen for those of you who are new. What is Chalk Couture? So we are a home business that offers a DIY home decor and crafting concept, and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. Now we have these super cool silk screen reusable transfers and I like to stress that because you usually can get anywhere from eight to ten uses out of one transfer and sometimes even more we have our Chalkology chalk paste that is made in-house you can't find it anywhere else and then we have our permanent couture inks I can't wait for you to get your goodies Denise it's so exciting so soon um, and our inks is what we're going to be using today to make some t-shirts. So we do offer several services though. So we do have chalkboards, we have box wood frames, we have canvas pillowcases, we have a brand new gorgeous whiteboard, we have a new surface that is a um, reclaimed drawer. We have so many beautiful things that came out for the fall season. We have all of the tools that you need to get started. Plus, we have this amazing ground floor DIY home decor business opportunity where you can be a designer just like me for just $99 in the US or $129 in Canada. And we are open in five provinces, which is really awesome. So if you guys are interested in learning more about being a designer, again, if you are new, give me a number one in the comments and it's something you want more info about. Thanks for sharing, Denise. Um, just comment hashtag chalk couture below and I will make sure I send you the link to my private opportunity group where you will watch a video and when you are watching that video it gives you all of the information information that you will need about the opportunity and then we can chat from there so that is really exciting and I would love to share this with you so tonight's project super excited about you guys let me throw this up in the corner of my screen we are going to be doing t-shirts. So our transfer of the day, something new I would like to implement with you guys if you think it's cool. This is our transfer of the day. How cute is this design? Let me remove that. This one is going to be called Thankful Bless Script. So all of these gorgeous words are available in this one transfer. So our transfer of today is Thankful Blessed. So, hey, Stephanie, thanks for watching. So if you are interested in purchasing this, just give me a hashtag thankful in the comments and I will reach out to you and uh, I will get that all set up so we can get that purchase for you. Now, on the back of all of our transfers, again, if you are new and you choose to buy that from my website or myself, all the directions are back here. So it tells you how to prep, peel, fuzz, apply, remove, heat set if you are using ink, and then clean your transfers because remember, reusable. When we're done, you guys, easy peasy cleanup. You wash it in water, you wipe them down with a Clorox wipe, I, that reactivates the adhesive on the back of the transfers. You'll put them back on your carrier sheets and you get to use them again. 
oh, I'm so excited, Gretchen. Um, anywhere from eight to 10 uses. Now, I can honestly tell you that I have gotten way more uses than that. Hey, Shaleen, how are you? Hope you're loving the new catalog. It's so awesome. Um, I have definitely gotten more than that, but by company standards, we have to say eight to 10. So I've got my awesome Chuck Couture transfer cutters. Love these. We just came out with these. Like I said, we have all the tools you need. Baby, you can come down. Come on, babies. Come on. My baby's sitting at the top of the stairs looking at me. So sad. He, um, so we went camping last weekend and we took him in the river and now he's got some hot spots on his neck and like on his cheek. So we had to shave him down a little bit today. So he's a little sad. My Ike's a little sad. I feel so bad. So we are just going to cut this right on the cut lines that they do provide for you. Easy peasy. Sorry, I just had to tell you my story because he's just there looking at me. And he wants to come down. Hey, Ann. Welcome. So we are going to be making two t-shirts today. So obviously, I am not going to be using every single piece of this transfer, which is totally fine. And these are the most awesome transfer cutters I have ever had. Let me like, you know, when you find that like super good pair of scissors, like these are totally it. Like they're nice. They're lightweight. They, they feel good. They cut nice. Yeah. I like these really, really awesome. So I'm going to set this piece aside. And the first step that I'm going to do is right on the back of my transfers. So you write on the back of your transfer carrier sheet. This is thankful. And this is blessed. Yeah, Gretchen. Hey, Sandy. How are you? I'm super sad that, I mean, it's like all of a sudden we noticed he was like, you know, doing the scratchy thing and we went and we looked at it last night and I was like, oh my God. Like, so here's me taking pictures. I went to the vet today. I just, you know, they're, they're your babies. They're, they're your babies. I love that little boy up there. Love that little boy. All right. So got two t-shirts, by the way, I have to tell you. Usually I get my t-shirts, hey Harriet, how are you, from a local craft store. You can get them wherever, the, the, a, the a store, the W store. These are from the W store, um, the big W store that everybody shops at. So, But I've never used these t-shirts, so these are the two that I'm going to be doing. Two different designs for you today on these. Now, when you get your t-shirt out, I don't wash mine. Some people do, entirely up to you. I literally just bought these today, not going to lie. Um, just try to get it laid out nice and flat so I know where I'm going to put my design. Let me put this one aside. This is what I'm going to say. These are a little, my whole point of this convert, that whole thing was, these are a little thinner t-shirt than I usually buy. So when I buy mine from the local craft store, sometimes they're a little bit thicker. These are a little thinner. So I'm definitely going to be using my amazing ink, ink mat. So again, all of these are available through Chaka Tour. We have all the tools you need. We just don't have the t-shirts. Okay. Got my squeegees right here. I'm going to use my small squeegee. But why I love these, again, hey Jeannie, how are you? Um, these are reusable. Our ink mats are totally reusable. You just take off that top carrier sheet, so to speak. It has an adhes adhesive side. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's a reason for it. So I'm just going to take this and just kind of fold it in half like that. I'm going to stick it in between the layers of my t-shirt. Now, let me tell you this. Why do I love our ink mats? Sure, you could use a piece of cardboard or whatever you want to use. But there are definitely two reasons why I love it. Number one is this. This is a thin t-shirt. It's going to prevent my bleed through. Love that, right? This is what I truly love right here. The adhesive side allows me to smooth out my t-shirt so that I don't have little ripples, so that my, my fabric is not going to move around when I'm doing my design and things like that. This is absolutely why I love our Chocotour ink mats right here. And again, they're reusable. So if you buy one, you can reuse it over and over again. You just clean them off with water. Do not wipe them down with a Clorox wipe or anything like that. Clean them off with water and let your ink mat air dry. Okay. 
So I thought, how perfect is this, right? Everybody is loving those funky, cool DIY um, inspirational t-shirts or word t-shirts, graphic t-shirts. I think that's what they call them. So here with Chaka Tour, you can totally make your own, right? So I've got that where I want it, all right? So here's how this works for those of you that are new. And like I said, if you're new, make sure you give me a number one in the comment um, just because I like to see who all is new to this and tell me what you think so far after we're done, right? Super cool. So I'm gonna flip this over, remove my transfer from my carrier sheet, or remove my carrier sheet from my transfer. I said that totally backwards. My mind is going ahead of itself. Try not to let that happen right there. You never kind of want that to happen. If it does, peel it apart very slowly. Okay. Now, because I'm doing this on a fabric, I am not going to fuzz this. Okay. I'm just going to take my transfer adhesive side down and place it right where I want it. Okay. So I'm kind of guide. I'm, I'm gauging the middle with the center of the t-shirt. Okay. Oh, Mary Lee, welcome. It's super fun and super interesting. If you want more information, let me know. I would love to share that with you. So I've got this, I think, where I want it. I'm going to press it down, and then I'm going to smooth it out so I don't have any air bubbles in my silk screen. Now, I don't like where it's at. So yes, I can remove it and redo it. Beautiful. Hey, Missy. Welcome. Thanks for watching. You guys, I would love it if you would share this video. Um, I would love to get so many people to learn more about Chaka Tour and the opportunity and our products because they're just super amazing. So in the bottom left corner is a share button. I would love it if you'd share my video, you guys. It's the greatest compliment you can give me. All right. So I think I'm better there. So again, I am just smoothing this out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. Now, when I do fabric, here's what I like to say. Anytime I'm doing fabric personally, I like to just go over that silk screen area just a little bit harder with my finger just to make sure I have it down, okay? Oh, excuse me, you guys. I have the hiccup. So just pressing that down just like that, okay? I'm going to use, for this one, I'm going to use my white ink. Now our inks, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have, hold on. You know what? Let me just pull this bad boy right out of here. Our beautiful new fall catalog. Let's just see. Our catalog, we have inks. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 different colors of inks. Hey, Altman, welcome. You're interested? Great. I, that's awesome. I will definitely send you some information to my opportunity group as soon as we get off our live today. Thanks so much. All right. So I'm going to take my ink just like that. I'm going to dip my small squeegee right in there. Get some ink on there. You don't need a ton. And then I'm just going to pull that right across my silk screen area. Doesn't matter which way you go, up or down, left to right. You just need to make sure you cover the silk screen. You're applying pressure and you're scraping it across. This isn't painting or anything like that. Apply the pressure, scrape it across your silk screen. Any excess you do remove and you put it back in your jar. Okay, just like that. And if you guys have any questions as I'm going along, feel free to ask them. I will answer them as soon as I look up and see them. Just remember there is a little bit of a delay. So if I don't see it right away, the minute I see it, I will answer it for you. Okay, just want to make sure I got that covered really good, fairly even. Okay, again, just scraping off my excess. Putting it back in my jar. Hey, Jane, welcome. Hi, Melissa. How are you, girl? The squeegee's going in my little tub of water, and now we're going to peel and reveal. Okay, reusables. Here we go. 
check it out you guys how awesome is that look at that this transfer is going to go right into my little tub of water i'm going to show you off to the side just like this and i will clean it up after the video with a clorox wipe let it air dry and i can reuse it over and over again eight to ten times even more sometimes but i have to tell you eight to ten how awesome is that you guys check that out super cool super easy my very own graphic t-shirt now oh jen you can do it i love ink like i sometimes i think i like ink better than I do the chalk paste, but then I do something with the chalk paste and I like it, you know, it's just, it's an obsession. Like chalk couture is a total obsession. So here's the deal. You guys, first off, I lost my hair dryer. There it is. Sorry. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to hit this with a hair dryer. Thanks, Shaleen. Thanks, Gretchen. To just dry this up a little bit because we need to heat set this. Okay, when you heat set the ink, that's what makes it permanent, and then I am able to wash and dry it. Um, Mary Lee, it takes a, it takes a few minutes to dry it with a hair dryer, and then I'm gonna heat set it, and then it'll be completely dry. So I'm just gonna do this for like a minute, a little over a minute, just because I don't want to put my parchment paper over top of something wet. And I forgot to get that out. It's behind me. So I got my little wax paper. Um. Oh, Altman, it's just, this products are so amazing. What's nice is there's no weeding, so I don't have to weed anything. Right? If you've ever used vinyl. Sorry, I don't mean to be talking away. I'm turning on my heat press, you guys. Turning on my heat press. I gotta let that heat up for a minute. Um, well, I love that there's no weeding or anything involved. Um, is the ink more ruddy than the chalk? It depends, Gretchen. Sometimes it is. Certain colors tend to be a little more runny than other. Like for me, my red is always just a little bit more runnier than the other ones. And even like, you'll see the black, cause I'm gonna do a t-shirt in black as well. And you'll see, I'll hold up both the white and black and it's just a little different consistency. Okay, so now what I need to do is heat set this, you guys. So my heat press is over here heating up. By the way, if you do not have a heat press, it's totally fine. You will use an iron on both sides for four minutes. Heat press is just a little quicker. And I like to use them when I do my workshops. So I do need to take my ink mat out of here because I'm going to use it for the next project. And also you do not want to get heat on the, um, ink mats. Okay. So I've got my little t-shirt here. Super cute, right? Super cute. I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to stick it inside just because like I said, this t-shirt is also Oh, Jane, that's awesome. I will make sure I send you guys the link as soon as we get off of our live to my opportunity group. And again, in there, you can watch a video. It's about a 20 minute video. It'll tell you all about the opportunity. And then any questions you have, I would love to answer those for you. We have an amazing team. We have a lot of great training on our team. It's just, it's truthfully this word right here. I am blessed that I found Chocotour. Um, in November of 2017. It's been amazing. So, you guys, just waiting for that to heat up. It's going to take a couple minutes. So, does anyone have any questions about the opportunity that I can answer for you? I will definitely make sure I send you guys the links to that so that you can watch a video while we're sitting here chatting. Like I said, now... If you don't have the, I use, I have a Cricut heat press is what I use for my designs, you guys. Um, if you don't have that, all you need is an iron. Again, you will have your parchment paper on the top and the parchment paper on the bottom. And you will iron it on both sides for four minutes. Me, I'm going to use my awesome Cricut heat press. 
this is what it looks like. It's on, um, it's going to be on 350 degrees. Once it hits that, I'm going to go ahead and put this down and I'm going to heat set this to make it permanent and I can wash and dry this shirt over and over again. It is so amazing. I have so many t-shirts that I um, have chalked, or I'm sorry, that I've inked on that I wear all the time. So I'm just waiting for that to go beep. Almost there, you guys. Oh, Shalene, I'm so, so happy to hear that. I'm so happy you are a part of the team. Hey, Melissa, how are you? How did it go from 345 to 340? I don't know. That's crazy. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for that 350. So I'm super excited. I couldn't wait to do this t-shirt. Like that was one of the first transfers in the fall catalog that I had. I was like, I got to get that. I got to make myself some t-shirts. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to hit this button. And I'm going to go over this for 30 seconds. And then I'll, I'll have to flip it over and do the same thing from the inside out. And then I'll have my DIY graphic t-shirt that I can wear. Super cool, right? Just think of all the things you could totally do with this. Okay. So let me put this down for one second. Let me flip it over. I don't use HTV since I found... Right, Melissa? Isn't it awesome? It is so awesome. And I'm so glad you're on this journey with us too. I'm telling you ladies, it is just so amazing the beautiful things that you can create. This was one of the cute little things I created on a chalkboard. And buffalo plaid is just all the rage. All right, here we go. And if you guys are watching right now and you wanna to go to my website, you can check some things out if you want to. It's Chalking with Jen, I have two ends in there. And you can check it out. You can see all of our transfers, our products that we offer. The startup kit is on there, although I did display a picture in the beginning of the video. If you missed it, you can always catch the replay. Um, but yeah, you guys, totally, totally amazing opportunity. All right, so I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Now that I've heat set this, I can wash it. I can dry it. And I've got a gorgeous, gorgeous new t-shirt. Check that out. Isn't that so cute? Love it. Love it. All right. Couldn't wait to do this one. Like this was totally like, yeah, totally wanted to do that one. Okay. So I'm going to set this one aside somewhere. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room. We're going to do one more. Because I'm going to show you this one with the black ink. And then I can also show you the difference in the inconsistency sometimes with certain colors. So again, I'm going to use my Chalk Couture ink mat. I'm going to put it in between here. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. Okay. And we have two different ink mats. So if you need to make like baby onesies or a smaller t-shirt, um, we definitely have a different size ink mat. If you need to use one. Okay, so got that in there. Need to get my t-shirt kind of straight there. Smooth that out. I don't like that V. I feel like I'm a little crooked on that, guys. Oh, Denise, the inks. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you guys love it. You guys, that's awesome. Thank you. And like I said, the greatest compliment you guys can give me is a share. If you love these products, if you're new to Chalk Couture, I would love to be your designer. Or if you're interested in a designer, I can help you with that too. All right. 
You guys, I'm really not liking the V there. I'm a little worried. Oh, it'll be fine. Okay, so taking my finger, rub it over the edge, flip it over, remove your carrier sheet, set that aside, take your transfer. Do I wanna go this? No, I'm gonna go like this. Because I am also thankful that I found Chocotour and I have met so many amazing, amazing friends. So many amazing friends. We are all a team. Okay. I think I'm gonna go right there, you guys. And then again, just smooth that out. Rub a little extra hard for me. Like I just feel better when I do that. If I rub a little extra hard on that surface. Okay. Just because I want to make sure all my little edges are pushed down. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, I think I'm good. Now, again, getting our ink out. Now here, look, I don't know if you can see. Do you see like the consistency difference? Like that's just a little bit, the white's a little thicker and the black's a little bit, like it looks a little more runnier. So that's kind of some, it just depends on I think the pigments that they use to create it. I'm gonna do the same technique though. Dipping my squeegee, see, you see that? It's definitely thinner. Right into my chalk paste. Oh, and be careful, because you do not want to get it on any parts of the fabric. You don't want, that you don't want the uh, ink to be on, because our inks are made to be permanent, okay? And watch getting it on your fingers like I just did too, and then touching stuff. <laughs> A jar touching stuff. No. Anybody remember that show? Am I really dating myself? HR puffing stuff? Oh my goodness. HR puffing stuff. Okay. I'll be singing that all day now. Okay. Again, left or right, up to down. You're just scraping that across your silk screen areas. Making sure you've got your letters all covered. Nice and even. Okay, just like that. Put any excess right back in the jar, you guys. This is gonna go right in my little tub of water off to the side because they are reusable as well. And I've gotta pay attention right now because I've got ink on my fingers. Yes, yay, somebody remembers him. I don't feel so bad now. All right, I'm gonna take this the other tip I want to give you, when you are removing your transfers when you're using ink, you guys, don't rip it off like a Band-Aid. Yo, yay, Denise. Just take your time and remove it nice and easy because sometimes if you rip it off like a Band-Aid, you can totally, like, pull the ink and kind of, um, kind of spread it where it shouldn't be. So just take your time with the ink. Remove your transfer. Put it in the tub of water next to you or in your sink, wherever you're cleaning them off, and check it out, you guys. Look how awesome those letters are nice and crisp. I love it. Absolutely love it. I am so excited for these. So I'm just going to hit this again with my hair dryer. Just a few minutes. Remember, this is the transfer of the day, so if you are interested in purchasing this transfer, you can just put a hashtag thankful in there, and I will reach out to you. Or you can check out my website. This one was called Thankful Blessed Script. And you can purchase it right on my website. Everything that I'm using today except for 
my hair dryer and the t-shirts. Oh, thank you, Kristen. And the heat press. Those are the only things not available on the website. Everything else is available. So your ink, your squeegees, your chalk tape, or your um, carrier, or oh my gosh, your ink mat, everything you need to create the design. So again, remember, I'm going to take out this mat underneath here because I cannot heat set that. Oh, Jane, I'm so glad you love it. I will definitely make sure I get that link to you here in a few minutes once we are done. I just want to go ahead and heat set this one for you guys. Making sure my things over there. Now this, like I said, um, if there was anything on here, I would totally clean this off with water and I could totally reuse that as well. All right, so I've got my t-shirt there. Oh, Denise, it'll get there. It, it's gonna come to you soon. Don't you worry, you're gonna have your kit very soon and you're gonna be up and running as a designer and you'll get to share all these amazing products with your friends. It's, it's just, it's truly a blessing to be a part of this company. I am telling you, it was the best decision I ever made a year and a half ago. And I am so thankful and blessed each and every day. All right. Getting my little heat press, putting it on there, hitting my button. And remember guys, if you don't have the heat press, it's totally fine. All you need is your iron, four minutes on each side. Okay. You don't have to have one of these. If you want one, check them out on Amazon or, or that other place. But, you know, definitely you just need an iron. These are just nice because they're quick. Okay, I did that side. Let's flip it over. To turn it inside out and don't forget to share the video you guys if you absolutely love this and you thought it was cool or if you know anybody please share the video I would greatly appreciate it okay Let me just make sure I have this in here I'm gonna do this side Hit it with my heat press for 30 seconds and we will be done, you guys. That is it. That is it for this evening. So I hope you guys totally, totally, totally love this today. Easy, quick designs. I made two t-shirts today. And guess what? I think, what did it cost me um, for the t-shirts? I think the t-shirts were like four bucks a piece. How crazy is that when you what? You usually spend like $30, $35 for one of these t-shirts online, right? Super cool, you guys. All right, are you ready? We've got both of our t-shirts done. I'm going to take this out and flip them inside out the right way. Outside in, inside out. Check it out, you guys. Here we go. There's your thankful. Oops. I've got my thankful t-shirt, super cute. I've got my fun little blessed t-shirt, just like that, you guys. How about that? How amazing is that? They're so cute. I love them. All right, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate and I'm very thankful and blessed for all of you that took the time to watch today. Again, any questions you have, let me know. For those of you that requested information, um, as soon as I get off here, I will get that to you. And you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. And stay tuned as I'll be talking with you soon, you guys. Have a great night.